right, it's been a while since we've really gotten time. You come out, Klum. Go. I'm not going to go to the Klum, but. Yeah. So, it's been some time since I've had time to do videos on the Orange River. My problem has been load shedding so far, but let's not get stuck on that. I've had a quick look at the dam levels in the river flow. The Waal Dam is at around 97%, no, lower, 96.5%. Bloemhof Dam is at 102%. Outflow is about 40 cubic meters per second. That's the Waal side. The orange side, the Gerib Dam is at about 98%. And the Waal Dam is just, just under 100%. Uh, sorry, not the Waal Dam, the Van der Kloof Dam. And the outflow in Van der Kloof is about 40 cubic meters per second, but there's a lot of varying uh, measurements for the outflow on that. I don't know which one to trust. Looking at Prisca below, however, the flow is about 60 cubic meters per second, which is fairly consistent with uh, 40 on the Waal and 40 from the Orange. And then, great news on the Koga Dam. The Koga Dam is at 45% for the first time since 2019. That's now four years that it's been extremely low. And the good thing is that as we speak, the inflow is still currently higher than the outflow. The inflow has been varying between about 6,000 and about 8,000 liters per second, or six to eight cubic meters per second. And the outflow, if I remember correct, they are only using less than one cubic meter per second outflow at the moment. And uh, the reason for that is most of the area has gotten rain, so they didn't need any irrigation during the winter now. It's cold, so the plants are not using much. And there's a lot of streams flowing into the dam, keeping up that inflow. So end of August, beginning of September, the use of water will increase a lot. But until then, there's good inflow. And we even have a forecast of about another 13, 30 millimeters in Krakil by Saturday, Sunday. That usually diminishes, the, the, the forecast usually changes and diminishes as it gets closer. But with a but little bits and little bits of rain upstream and in the mountains, you get a constant flow of water into the dam. Hopefully that keeps keeps up at least until 50%. You take uh, current inflow is about 0.4% that it raises per day, a little bit less than that. But if you keep it up for 10 days, that's about 3 to 4%. If you can keep that up for 20, 30 days till end of August. But that's a bit optimistic, I think. Depends on the rain. Hopefully they get more. Who knows? More than 50% is even possible. Anyways, uh, I've been complaining a bit about load shedding, but I think I've managed to make a plan and I've been a bit fortunate in my endeavor to create a solution for load shedding. But I'll share more on that a little bit later on. Uh, yeah, let's look into that quickly. So I have this thing, but I don't really consider that a solution. It's noisy, I can't do video editing while it's running, the power is up and down, I needed something better. Then I had this kind of thing, small in UPS and batteries, but you go through batteries so fast, it just doesn't make sense. And then I have this setup. And it's okay, but we'll talk more about the uh, 
this whole thing that's two big lead acid batteries with a big uh, inverter UPS inverter thing we'll get to that and then I even have what I installed for my wife which is a full system the wife and kids stay at our house in town during school weeks where they have a full system capable of going completely off grid with solar panels supplying everything they need but even that was not the solution for me here on the farm and this is where this comes in you would have seen it in my other video Did I cut that one or the next one? <laughs> so I've even got him here helping with the editing and then that happens just as I'm getting going, getting productivity up, but that's where this also comes in handy. this in the next video that's coming up next it's a lot more work than a quick uh, rubber update video probably not going to be as popular but I enjoy making it anyway it's about a uh, bit of a run, running around trip that I did uh, recently anyways see you on the next one cheers Yeah. Uh -huh.